the one I really won't play against or yes. yeah. the one I really want to play against is Magidi. Yeah. Oh that's the one you wanted to play against, yeah. 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 And have you let him out your pocket yet? No, I still own it. <laughs> <laughs> you hear about Magidi again. <laughs> yeah. I know. But uh, you know, no, it's it's just the opponents like always we need to say against Celtic. You know, it's because I remember years ago all the time with uh, Bobo Valde, no, it used to be absolutely massive. Um, but I'm never scared about it. I always on my games, I just go for it. Okay, goalkeeper, who was the best goalkeeper you faced? I faced? Yeah. I will say um, Gordon from Hearts. Yeah, Craig Gordon. Craig Gordon. Very good. He was a very good goalkeeper. The old Firm games, uh-huh. playing for the Rangers against Celtic. First of all, how did you feel with the the fun side of it, the winding up with the, the Celtic support, winding up the Celtic players, and batting forward on the park? How did how did you feel about that? I just laughing at them all the time, you know, um, because sometimes you can't see it, you know, on TV, but. Uh, I always like uh, when they try. Uh, they provoke you, you know. And, yeah. But uh, I always provoke them, so you know. So, um, you know, the good thing I have in my mind is I have the support of my, all my my fans, you know, yeah. my, my Rangers support. So I don't care about them or anything. So I just laugh. And the most important thing is when you score the goal. That's the best thing. And the best thing is was my first goal at, at uh, Parkhead. My first goal, uh, score is won uh, two now. Um, he's scored uh, big now and, and me the second one. Yeah. Um, the most thing I love is when they sing and everything, and you score, and then just see the Rangers fans and they're just jumping and and, and all the Celtic fans just just shoes, you know. And that's the most biggest thing. I always have it on my mind. Yeah. yeah. Silence them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it. So the <laughs> So so the, the actual players on the park, was it just make you any yeah. other rivals that you, you kinda maybe didn't see that the fans maybe didn't see, but you were kinda niggling with each other and winding each other up? With Celtic? Yeah. I always wind with everybody. Them all? I don't like them. Um, you know, as uh, I've been I've been past uh, really bad times uh, for these guys, you know, and, and uh, on the park, it's like always, it's a uh, Celtic Rangers, and um, you're gonna go to eat them. Yeah. That's the mentality you have. It's the derby. Um, if you play for this jersey, you need to go to eat them. That's it. Just win, win, win. On 50 50 challenge, just go for that. Yeah. And that's the mentality you need to have. That's the mentality I had. And uh, I hate when I when I lose or, or or draw against them, you know. And um, this is this. I don't know. Maybe it's quite like that because I feel like I, I, I speaking as a fan. As yeah. Well, you know. You no, as, a, as a player. And, and uh, I knew what his Rangers is uh, was all about. Yeah, you understood you what know. the club meant. Yeah. And. Uh, you know, I think that is what uh, this club need uh, the players uh, with heart and, and, and just going for it, you know what I mean? Because you have uh, lots of support in here, you know, it's have uh, all the best facilities and everything, and the best support, so you need to show the, the commitment that, uh, to them. And I was pleased because Rangers is, for me, when he signed me, he I was all over them. Yeah. You know, my family is all over the moon. Everybody was all over the moon. Just can't wait just to start the game. I forget about precision, forget about everything. Yeah. Just start the real games. Um, you know, but uh, what I say, just with Celtic uh, all the time in my years here, I, I've been half abused, I've been having her horrible things, uh, things of addresses, and, yeah. uh, threats all the time. And, Walk in the town, and just some guy come and, and punch you from behind, and, yeah. and say, "Come on, the Celtic," and 
things like that. And, you, and the most important thing is when I go with my kids as well. Yeah, so, you can have so when you have your kids? Yeah, even with my kids. So um, I just hate them so much, um, you know. But uh, it's all right. They hate me. I I always thinking that when someone hates you, is that means you've done something well. Yeah, it's respect, really. Yeah. yeah. That's the unfortunate part of the side of your career there. So just quickly on the Old Firm, to finish off the Old Firm part, what was your favourite Old Firm game and your favourite Old Firm goal? So your best goal against them and your best game? My best goal... My best goal, I would say, is was in Parkhead. The, the, in my first year, yeah. 2004-2005. Um, I checked the... Uh, 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 who is the goalkeeper? Was Rabla, R no. Rob Douglas? Rob Douglas, yeah. A um, donkey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Spanish donkey! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I... I think I would say that is, is my best goal. Um, then, what well, we say uh, the two wins in November. Yeah. Year, the cup in here when we play Ibrox. Yeah. As well, it was a fantastic game as well. Um, but for me, I think the most important is all against the Orphan. Yeah. And the Orphan against Celtic is for me when. People say to me, "Was the best goal for me at all? The best goal." The mo. The mo. Yeah. Helicopter Sunday. What's your memories of Helicopter Sunday? You scored the winning goal that day. That was fantastic. <laughs> what a year that was. And you know, it's, we were we were just with the mentality just to go out the game and win. Yeah. And just win, and, and we'll see what happens. But even when you just find out for the fans, just start jumping and everything, and you know, and we were uh, one now, winning. Did you know? Did you know on the park that Motherwell had scored in the Celtic Motherwell game? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because all the fans start sh jumping and, yeah. and singing. And I remember just Barry Ferguson and Alex, Alex Ray just start jumping each other, but like as finish everything. Yeah, you know so. So everybody is, is, is was is was you know we lost energy you know we thought it was finished yeah you know but it's not because then it's, it's come back again yeah you know and uh, scoring again but we thought it was finished again it was, yeah and it's not it's still it's still going it was the second so I found out I, I was that drunk I found out three days later there was two goals <laughs> <laughs> I was the same as yourself. Just thought that was a whistle. So how was the celebrations then? Oh, the celebrations were fantastic. Yeah. Because no one is is is, is thought is we will win. Yeah. Um, Apart from Big Marvin. Yeah. About for the big man. But we remember just come here to Ibrox and yeah. the other person is just oh fucking starving. <laughs> <laughs> he just go to McDonald's. He's get twenty burgers. <laughs> yeah. Just start eating burgers. It's not McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, McDonald's. He's go to McDonald's and that to get a few cheeseburgers. Yeah. And then but a party. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It was absolutely tremendous. Paul Gwen came to Ibrox. I don't think Paul Gwen. Paul Gwen was originally very keen on you, Nacho, when he when he came. But you had to win. First of all, you were going to go to Coventry, mm -hmm. and I don't think I'm not sure what happened. If you can tell us what happened, but you had to fight for your place. Um, I prefer to stay here. Yeah. Don't fight. Um, you know, it's, uh, I will be. You know, will let me go if I was if I was happy. But I decide to no to no go there. Um, so I've been on the start, I've been speaking too much with Paul Lewin. You know, um, obviously you understand as well, you bring his own players, and when the managers bring his own players, obviously he's, 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 he's going to make him play. Yeah. But I just decide just to stay and keep working. You know, and when every, every training I used to give everything where I go. And, and you go back in? I gave back in so what the was first your, game. What was your general feeling? Obviously, it didn't work out with Paulie when, uh -huh. when you look back, what was your feeling on his time at Rangers as a manager? Well, 
I think it's it's, it's not was a, a bad a bad guy, you know, uh, because I, I was speaking lots uh, with him and and nearly on the end, this nearly started going on with me, you know, uh, speaking with me a lot. So he's confined in you? Yeah, 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 yeah. After that, after after that, yeah. But before I passed up very hard because I used to I used to travel and see with the fans in the games and not even go in the yeah. in the squad. Uh, but I used to kick in my car and and just go and watch the game, you yeah. know, and sitting with the fans. But after that, I remember it's giving me the chance and the against Livorno, UEFA. Yeah, great. Mate. And after that, never stop being in. After that, is uh, I start playing more with him. So do you think it was just unfortunate his time with Rangers as a coach? How would you rate him? Well, I rate him sometimes that uh, it was too too much discipline. I think too uh, much. Yeah. I think. You you need to understand when 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 you come from other countries you can't change to other countries you can't change the the culture. Yeah, I, I remember that. He famously he famously said that the players were eating monst monster munch crisps and yeah, ginger. Yeah. <laughs> Was that one of you guys? <laughs> no, but uh, it's, it's it's normally like you see the beans, the the the, 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 the toast. And, uh, yeah. That's actually it's energy for you, you know as well. And uh, he he tried to change everything. You know, and sometimes for people it's been from since once too young and the culture, you know, is isn't here in Scotland. You you can't change lots of things like that just like one day. You need to go always slow. I think that is was he, his biggest mistake and then what happened with Ferdinand.